are walking through the main streets of St. Petersburg, Russia, Nevsky Prospect. Today is uh, the uh, 14th of December 2018, Friday. Now next to Yelisheev's store. And I'm turning to Male Sadove, like a small garden street, and going to the house number one, where it's located one of my uh, favorite places for Russian cuisine, which is called the Soviet Cafe Kvartirka. Uh, that's Russian for apartment flat. If you guys will want to dip down into the authentic Soviet atmosphere, go to Kvartirka. Let's get inside, guys. So now we've got inside of the place. I will make a little tour for you. And uh, here you will see the quintessence of uh, the uh, Soviet's interior things and the households like this phone, you know, old school phone electric counter but still many of them are in use in Russia all the things are real like this USSR bag on bicycle a radio transistor with a turntable on the top this is an authentic real things watches Accordion Sure rug and the Soviet Union We loved the rugs What about the music here is mostly the Soviet music of 60s 70s 80s uh, Foreign music of the same time periods as well The portrait of Vladimir Vysotsky, singer, poet, actor. He is an absolute legend of the 70s in the USSR. And uh, it's a kind of sig significant and symbolic that he died in 1980. Old school TV. Small Soviet bicycle, portable turntable, a lot of uh, vinyls. All of them are from the uh, Melodia recording studio. Suit cases. I decided to get a table in this most distant but most spacey hall of the restaurant uh, right next to uh, the vinyl of Sergei Vasilievich Rachmaninov, one of the best composers ever. The menu of the restaurants designed like uh, the design of popular in the Soviet times, a book about tasty and healthy food. Like in the most of Russian restaurants and restaurants in St. Petersburg, it's a very detailed, colorful uh, menu with all the pictures. Uh, I have ordered a lot of things and I, I better will show you uh, that all in real. I've got all of my stuff today. Let me tell you from the beginning that never I eat that much just for one time. But at the moment I have ordered so much stuff 
in the same time that to show you what is the typical Russian cuisine. Let's start with the soup. Um, I would prefer to order maybe a borscht more, but borscht I used to show many times before. We Russians, we used to have at least once in a day something liquid and hot. Usually it's a soup, so it's a great digestive. Bon appetit, or as we say in Russia, приятного аппетита. Here is noodle, chicken, carrot and egg. Now I leave your salad. Also uh, very much known as a winter salad. I guess that's because an ingredients for this like eggs, corn, uh, cucumbers, meat, you can find even at winter. Delicious. Pilmeni with beef and uh, pork. This is what you call dumplings. Yummy! So called draniki potato patties with a sour cream. You know, uh, you can eat it with a knife, like a high society person. But can just take in hands and eat like this. The next dish is Pajarski cutlets with mashed potato, which is mixed with a basil. Here is also tomato sauce. Chicken cutlets covered with uh, pieces of baked bread. Already not easy to keep eating, but I have to. Because here in St. Petersburg there's a very special relation to the food. You never have to waste the food in St. Petersburg. Such a special relationship here is after the siege of Leningrad. Under the music of Beatles it's dessert time. Uh, this is Russian pancakes, we call them blini. And notice that uh, Russian pancakes, blini, they are always uh, supposed to be uh, uh, very thin. These ones are thin. I have three different sauces, if I can say so. It's a sour cream, it's a condensed milk, and uh, jam. Blini I'm gonna get with a black tea and such a classic faceted glass that I will put into the classic coaster. Hundred calories for one bite, done. If you thought that's all you're wrong, here is also rumble, which is literally in the Soviet Union we called cake potato. Because it looked it looks like potato probably. And in the very end, compote the decoction of dried fruits.